Welcome to another Mr. James Accounting Tutorial. Today's topic is the solution to Module 1, Keep Accounting 2016, Unit 2. Let's have a look at the question. H and J Manufacturing Company has identified a list of costs associated with its operation. The company is seeking your help with respect to classifying its costs into manufacturing costs, non-manufacturing, selling costs, and non-manufacturing administrative costs. In your answer booklet, state the classification for each cost item an example has been provided for you in italics. The cost item, salary of factory supervisor, and the classification is given as manufacturing. The salary of chief accountant, non-manufacturing administrative leasing course factory equipment manufacturing depreciation on office furniture non-manufacturing administrative salary on plant supervisor manufacturing office stationery non-manufacturing rental of delivery van non-manufacturing selling Fuel for factory equipment, manufacturing. Property taxes on office building, non-manufacturing administrative. Plant utilities, manufacturing. Sales commission, non-manufacturing administrative or selling. Part B, in times of inflation, the market prices of purchase material increases. Explain what happens to the following when a last in, first out, LIFO stock valuation method is used. One, the cost of raw material issued. Two, the value of closing inventory and three, profit. The answer to part B would be that the cost of raw materials used is at the higher prices. And therefore, the cost of materials used will be higher. Secondly, the closing inventory is at the lower prices. And third, the profit is understated. First, we should note that the total there should be 640, not 620 as shown. The Soka Engineering Company manufactures a range of products. Shown below are the budgeted total unit costs for one of the components and one of the products manufactured by the company. So, apparently this company is making this product, this component, and then using it in a product XYZ. So they want to know whether to buy the component outside or make it first, and then they want to know whether to accept a special order. 
So component ABC is incorporated into XYZ manufactured and sold by the company. It is possible to purchase component ABC for 525 per unit from another company. The anticipated selling price of product XYZ per unit is 2750. Okay, okay. more than the production there. Yeah. The notes on the fix over here. Spoker Engineering Company will incur 125 per unit whether it purchases or manufactures component ABC. The company could avoid spending 280 per unit if produce product XYZ was not produced. All right. uh, you can't really tell from the information given here whether this is an opportunity cost or an avoidable cost. Uh, seeing the word avoid here, I will treat it as an avoidable cost and hence it would be a uh, uh, cost saving. Advise the management of the company whether it would be profitable to make or buy component ABC. Accept a special offer of seventeen fifty per unit from an outside company for product XYZ. Provide a justification for your answer. Nine marks. The relevant course of the decision. To make would be the variable cost of 180, 160, and 80. Uh, the 125, since it would appear in both of these columns, we will exclude it altogether since it would not make any impact on the decision. I have decided to treat the 280 as avoidable cost, therefore it would be a cost saving if we buy the item. So the cost of, the relevant cost of making is 420, whereas the cost of relevant cost of buying is 525, less the cost saving of 280 gives you 245. So you should buy the component. There will be a cost saving of 420 minus 245 equals $175. The marginal cost of the special order would be the variable cost of producing it plus the cost of the component, which will give us a total marginal cost of 1385. The offer should be accepted since the marginal variable cost is less than the offer price. The business will make a profit of 1750 minus 385 equal 365 per unit. Part D, Kroll Company Limited is a manufacturing company which applied its overhead to its products based on direct labor hours. The accounting record for Kroll Company Limited for 2015 was as follows. Budgeted production overhead returned 75,000. Actual production overhead, 925,000. Budgeted direct labor hours, 103,000. 125 hours. Actual direct labor hours, 103, 
112,700 hours. The production overhead cost incurred in December 2015 was $58,000. And the number of direct labor hours used was 7,800. We are asked to compute the predetermined overhead rate for 2015 and to calculate the over under applied overhead for December 2015. The answer to part D, the POHR would be equal to the budgeted overheads of 875,000 divided by the direct labor hours budgeted 103,125 hours gives us a rate of 850 per hour. Second part, the overhead is applied would be 112,700, that's the actual hours, multiply by $8.50 that we calculated up there, gives us 957,950 as applied overhead. Now the 957,950 is greater than actual overheads of 925,000, therefore overheads are over applied overheads are over applied by 957,950 minus 925,000 gives us $32,950 over applied. That brings us to the end of the presentation. I hope it would be helpful if you'd like to see more of these types of things just leave a comment in the box underneath and you can also like or dislike the video accordingly i hope you enjoyed it and that you would find it useful in your studies